What's up guys, it's Ophelia215 here, and today I have a video called Double Covey Down. Um, it's against I Smoke A Lot, aka Sir Smoke A Lot, um, and uh, Ambient Chaos. And uh, the, the reason I'm uploading this video is because they're doing a pretty like gay combo thing. I don't have anything against I Smoke A Lot or, or Sir Smoke A Lot or whatever. It's just... They're doing the full blown air, you know, that that type of Covey rush that just makes you not want to play the game anymore. Um it it's not even like, you know, like just rush and then you fall back on air. Like they're going the whole full blown air bullshit because we we had just played them previous to this game and I'm pretty sure they searched us out. I mean, you know, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but we got them again right after that game. And this game plays out a little differently, um, but yeah, in case, just, you know, obviously a uh, little background here, um, in case you didn't know, uh, humans have a gigantic disadvantage at countering air um, than Covey have to build it, because it only takes one tech level uh, to build air, but it takes, you know, you getting to tech level three as a human to defend against it. So it's it's just really gay, and UNSC have a big disadvantage when it comes to defending against air uh, towards actually producing it. And, um, you know, th th this particular type of play style really capitalizes on that, and it's it's really gay. Um, but uh, th this time around, uh, we actually, you know, we, we pulled off some smooth, smooth moves here. So, um, you know, I'm just collecting some supplies here. Um, as of right now, me and Doomhammer are just like, alright, they double based, and um, Doomhammer is going to play D, and pretty much the, the, the only thing we're hoping for is that Doomhammer can defend long enough to buy me time to get anti-air, because that's all that's on our mind right now, is buy time and get anti-air as quick as possible, because, you know... Without the air, then we're going to force them to go something else, and then, you know, it, it just won't be the whole air rush bullshit. It'll it'll turn into a, a good game, a good, you know, uh, microing and all, all types of other shit game instead of, you know, going early game air. So that's, that's our hopes. So I'm sending my scout over to their base to see who double-based, um, building my second reactor. So I see that he just got his... Um, I believe that's uh, ambient chaos, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm not sure, but I just seen that the RV had just come out of the base and that uh, Blue is the one that double based. Um, so as of right now, I'm still just trying to look for supplies. Nothing going on around here. So I'm going to go to his uh, his side to see if he has any more supplies he didn't collect. But um, yeah, it's just as of right now, I'm just, just going for uh, anti-air. So, I'm uh, building two vehicle depots here. Doomhammer is uh, in the middle. And he's actually going over here. Now, I don't think I actually really fully pay attention. Now, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I, th this game was, I think, about like an hour and a half ago. So, I don't fully remember it off the top of my head, play by play. But I believe... I don't really look over too much at his um his brute while he's over there. So big sorry to Doomhammer for that if I don't look over too many times. Um So he he's over there pretty much just trying to keep the covey on defense. Uh as you can see I pretty much just uh started building my third tech level. I'm shooting straight for anti air. Nothing else, nothing more. So Pretty much now just sending my uh, Warthog to pretty much go die. Seeing the Brute right there coming to Doomhammer's base. He has, I believe, I only seen one turret there, but I think he might have another one in the back. Um, so now I'm pretty much just sending my Warthog to go collect money and pretty much go die. Um, building some anti-air, and I'm about to research Volley. Just because I figure, you know, anti-air is fucking damn near useless without Volley. So... Researching Volley, uh, yeah, Doomhammer has two turrets, and uh, I think this is smoke a lot here. I, I could have them reversed, but uh, the Brute's here, about to shit out my first anti-air. So first anti-air that comes out, I'm sending it right over. Uh, pretty much, you know, as of right now, 
Doom Hammer got a turret on the front right side, the side that he's not on. He's building another one. Um, and Doom Hammer's pretty much over there keeping the RB over there so that, you know, it lessens the load a little bit. Bringing in my anti-air. Now, I'm not quite sure. I don't think I have volley just yet. Okay, so now I have two Wolverines. Doomhammer's still, uh, you know, buying me time here. I'm waiting for volley. Uh, Doomhammer got two uh, infantry, I think two infantry turrets up. So that's helping out a little bit. He's also ramming with his uh, Brute Chopper. Okay, so I just got volley. Now I'm volleying. And this is pretty much where we turn around the game. Um, from, you know, kind of being like, because in the beginning of this, you know, Doomhammer just kept saying he's not going to be able to, you know, defend against this. This is going to be fucking gay. And, uh, you know, the, the anti-air really kind of surprised us because we, I was pretty much, you know, I'm fighting off these brutes with, with anti-air. And I mean, they can't bring their air in because, I mean, he already had one air in that mix, and, you know, I, I just killed it just walking in. So now it's just leaving them to brutes, pretty much killing those brutes. Um, just killed, um, actually just right now about to kill his last brute, and his actual brute chieftain's about to die. So I have five anti-air waiting for the brute chieftain to die. Now I'm pretty much literally just waiting this out. His Brute Chieftain's dead. I immediately heal Doomhammer's base. So as of right now, I have five anti-air. Now, I'm not quite sure when exactly. I don't know if uh, Doomhammer's Brute Chieftain just died or what the case was, but he was saying to leave all my anti-air over near his base because the Arby's now at my base, and um, pretty much I didn't want any of my units to get raged. So I'm now building on both vehicle depots, or about to be. And we're kind of like, you know, I can't I can't go over to this Arby because that would just be fucking suicide. So we're like, you know, it's time to counter push. We just killed dude's brute chieftain. So this is where the whole game takes a turn around. And I'm not a person that honestly really goes too much anti-air. I mean, I, I'm just not. You know, I'm a tank kind of guy. I like going tanks and I'll go anti-air if I really think need be. But, you know, I'm just not the type of person that goes, you know, full fucking army of uh, anti-air. And honestly, in this case scenario, you know, if you're going against Double Covey that are just going fucking retarded air, you know, this didn't work out too bad. You know, a couple turrets in this anti-air really uh, surprised me. So uh, the second I come in here, I am immediately aiming for his temple just because, you know, we want to cripple him. We want to make sure he can't build anymore. And, you know, we want to shift this entire battle to our favor. So I volley his temple, getting it to red bar, rebuild my vehicle depot, and I'm pretty much just starting to shred shit, there's a couple hunters here, still don't worry about it, I'm just running away from it as of right now, just walking around the base, shredding shit, um, making sure to really not lose any of my units, as you can see here, this anti-air is just shredding his, um, his just regular supply pads, there's a wraith right there, so I'm pretty much just rebuilding my vehicle depot over and over again. Um, just shredding supply pads, making sure not to keep my units still. You know, I don't want to lose anything. Um, so there we go. Just volleyed that, uh, that shit right there. Destroying his, uh, one brute. And pretty much just, pretty much wrecking his entire base here. So this was an amazing counter push. And Doomhammer's like, yo, you want to come back? Don't lose your shit. You know, play it smart. So I pretty much, uh... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't lose a single unit there. So I bring my ship back. His RB recalls as I'm leaving, which is awesome. That's what I wanted. I wanted his RB to come back. So his RB has recalled. I'm getting all my units back to home field. Um, and actually, I cancel this anti-air because I want to go tanks. Um, because the anti-air was pretty much a, a good playing D strategy. And I went in and shredded shit, but... Honestly, against that RB, when it comes down to it, I'm going to need tanks. So, as of right now, I'm not going for Canny immediately just because I need units. You know, Canny takes a while to come in, and I need these fucking units. So, pretty much just building tanks. Now, obviously, I don't have any more room for um, any more tanks, so now I'm going to go Canny. 
I got 11 anti-air. Doom, uh, Doom Hammer's like, yo, I got some air. Let's fucking roll. I just shit on dude's base. So I'm like, let's go. I'm ready. Um, sending my one tank uh, along with me. So pretty much uh, dude has a wraith there. I think he was trying to go wraiths, brutes, and air. And the RB was going to go all RB, but we quickly changed that side of the field up. So as I come in, he literally gets his shield up. So I'm like, what the fuck? What should I do? And Doomhammer's like, stay on the base. So I'm like, all right, say no more. Um, I actually, I think I, I think I micro some of my volleys here just because that hunter just does not want to die. Yeah, I think I, I yeah I microed some of my volley there. Doom Hammer comes in. Here's the RB raging. I drop a D, and as soon as he stops moving, I immediately volley. And I don't think yeah I, I didn't kill him here, so he gets out. So I'm obviously not gonna chase him. I'm just gonna keep kind of shredding the base, uh, you know, working, uh, working the wraith. And honestly, I think if they would have just, you know, kind of went rates a little bit, rates and maybe, I don't know, some anti-air and, you know, do a little more better RB defense, you know, this would have been a whole different ball game. Because, I mean, I just couldn't take those fucking rates. They were annoying. But, um, just, you know, just steady building units here still. I think I'm uh, about to build another tank there. I don't know. I think building another anti-air. But yeah, I'm about to drop his shield. D-bomb's still active. Uh, Doom Hammer is now focusing on the main. I'm trying to not uh, die by the Arby, but then I realize that the Arby's still weak as shit. So I'm like, all right, let's go. Arby's kind of shredding shit. I can't focus on him, and when I finally do, I then volley, kill the Arby, and now starting to reshred this dude's base all over again, building another tank. Um, still shredding shit, trying to avoid hunters here. Pumping anti-air, and pretty much we take dude's base, and uh, I just thought this was awesome because, you know, nothing more annoying than going against, you know, some double covey air shit, so... We drop dude's main. Um, I'm uh, I'm pretty much just hanging out in back of Doomhammer because I know that there's hunters. He's double pumping hunters, and Doomhammer's taking his unupgraded vortex and he's just going to town on him so I don't lose any units here. I'm trying to stay out of the fight a little bit, just you know, play it safe. All units. So when I see that the load is a little bit lightened, I kind of micro my volley here. And I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm going in. You know, ain't, there's no shield there. Time to do it. And I, as of right now, I'm starting to really realize, you know, I can't keep going anti-air because of that RB. Like, you know, when when we knock, um, you know, this brute's head loose, you know, I, I I'm not gonna be able to take the uh, RB with just anti-air. I mean, I, it's possible, but you know, it's just not a, a secure uh, move. So I'm trying to micro my volley a little more. And I, we pretty much take dude's base here and, and knock him out of the game. So, no more Brute. Um, now just the RB. So, as of right now, I pretty much just pull all my units back. I don't even expect to really honestly save anything at this point. All I'm, all I'm thinking is, now all we're dealing with is the RB. And um, all I'm going to need is tanks. And the game's over, pretty much. So... I, I was actually contemplating on whether to keep pushing, but then I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna, you know, gonna hold back a little bit, start pumping tanks, and actually, uh, we, uh, I didn't know that um, the Brute was knocked out of the game until, uh, obviously, there, Smoke a lot was the Brute, but, um, yeah, we didn't know he was out of the game until right there, so... I mean the game's game's pretty much over, guys. But I mean, as as you can imagine, now I'm just gonna pump a fuckload of tanks, and uh, we're pretty much just gonna gang up on the RB. You know, I mean my D bombs, I think three fourths of the way up. So I mean that D bomb when it comes to an RB, 
and you know going an army of tanks i mean it's fucking over i mean when you show up at their base you know uh, an arby's base with tanks and a d-bomb it's fucking over especially uh, you know especially if you have canny it's fucking done so uh doomhammer's just kind of harassing him making sure that he stays there i mean there's not much you know the guy can really do i mean you know, if he if he leaves to try and push, I mean, you know, we're just gonna come in and drop his shield. So he pretty much, I, I believe, is starting to rage down uh, Doomhammer's brute chieftain. Doomhammer's also taking care of uh, some of the turrets. Guy's starting to rage. Doomhammer pulls up on the mountain. As of right now, yeah, I'm just you know getting the full pop together. But, um, yeah, I mean, we were pretty happy that we won this game just because, like, you know, you know, I, I can't say it enough times, you know, going against that air, you have such an extreme disadvantage that it's just like, you know, it frustrates you because when, when that air shows up, I mean, you know, with an RB, you know, what can you do? Whatever you're going to, whatever, whatever you're going to make is going to get raged or the air is going to shit all over it. And... You know, by the time you actually do fight it off, I mean, you're so far behind, you're fucked. So, um, this particular game where they were, I think, trying to do that all over again, uh, it was, it was a good feeling, you know, that we stopped it, you know, because that doesn't happen every day, that, you know, you could just stop fucking air like that against, you know, a double covey, because we just went against, uh, Smoke a lot today, and 3v3, and they went all you know, all Covey, and they pretty much did the same thing, just went fucking massive air and all that bullshit, but, um, all you know, this particular game, we stopped it, so, I got all my units pretty much ready to rock and roll, there's the RB, Doom Ember still harassing, I think trying to cliff him, so he pulls his units back, I'm like, alright, it's time to tango, um, Doom Hammer is actually asking me right around here, you know, what the fuck am I doing? And I'm like, oh, well, I was contemplating going, uh, PT, but, you know, we're not going to let it go that long. So I just wanted to, you know, make sure in case something did go down and shit did hit the fan, at least it's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? I could just research PT and then go from there. So immediately the second I come in, I go right to the back of his base because I'm aiming for that temple. That temple is everything to a covey. When you destroy the temple... There ain't much left. So I come in, drop a D, and immediately canny. And you could tell his, his Arbiter is fully upgraded. So I'm just kind of following his RB, trying to kill him. I actually think I hem him up right here. And then he can't really do anything. His RB's dead. And it's pretty much game. I mean, he resigns as I'm clicking on a bunch of shit. And I by accidentally pull up my own bio. But um yeah that was uh that's game against uh smoke a lot. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. Click the Ophilly 205 watermark in the bottom right hand corner and that'll take you straight to my channel guys. And as always, it's Ophilly 205. Peace!